in this video you will find the RMS value of full wave rectifier so the formula of RMS value is given by VRMS that is equals to square root of 1 by t t is the time period with the integration limit 0 to t v output whole square into dt ok now for this full wave rectifier we consider first of all that the input signal is given by v naught sin omega t for the range 0 to capital T that is 0 less than t less than capital T capital T is the time period so if we plot this input signal with time then the plot will be like this one now the corresponding output signal for full wave rectifier will be like v output that is in this plot this one okay here the time period that is capital T and that is also capital T and that is initial point 0 and this is peak voltage V naught and this is half time period or T by 2 and that is time axis for this one also ok now we can see that V output that is equals to V naught sin omega t for the range 0 less than t less than t by 2 that is for this range 0 to t by 2 and you can see this signal is repeating itself after each t by 2 time period so to get the RMS value that is VRMS instead of integrating it over time period t we have to integrate it over the time period t by 2 so the formula will be redirect it to v rms that is equals to 1 by t by 2 with the limit 0 to t by 2 v output whole square into dt ok that is equals to 2 by t integral of 0 to t by 2 the value of the v output is given by v naught sin omega t so that is v naught square sin square omega t into dt ok that's equals to square root of 2 by t here v naught square is the constant so get out of the integral and the remaining part 0 to t by 2 sin square omega t dt that's equals to this v naught if we take this v naught out of the square root then it becomes v naught and the square root 2 by t integral of 0 to t by 2 we can write this sin square omega t like half of 1 minus cosine 2 omega t dt ok so that's equals to v naught square root of 2 by t and we take this half out of the integral with the limit 0 to t by 2 1 minus cosine twice omega t dt ok that is equals to v naught 1 by t integral of integral of 1 is t and integral of cos 2 omega t is sin 2 omega t by 2 omega with the limit 0 to t by 2 ok that is equals to v naught square root of 1 by t and putting the upper limit there we get t by 2 minus sin of twice omega into t by 2 by 2 omega and putting the lower limit it will be 1 by t that is 0 and sin 0 has also value 0 so that is this ok 
this one equal to phi naught square root of 1 by capital T T by 2 minus sine of this 2 to cancelled omega T by 2 omega okay now we know that angular frequency omega that's equals to 2 pi by time period t so omega t that's equals to 2 pi so putting this omega t there we get that's equals to v naught square root of 1 by t into t by 2 minus sine of 2 pi has a sine 2 pi by 2 omega that's equals to v naught 1 by t t by 2 minus the value of sine 2 pi is 0 so that is equal to v naught 1 by t into t by 2 that's equals to v naught square root of half that is equals to v naught by square root of 2 that is v naught by root 2 and this is the RMS value of full wave rectifier.